r slash escritted. What's a tradition that you think people should get rid of? Any variation of let's make animals fight. Goddamn Pokemon makes me sick slash s. I love my lawn but grass that has to be maintained is kinda dumb. Wyoming has natural short grass prairies, just plant that shit in your yard. Also, let bison roam freely. I'm Spanish, so bullfighting would be a great one to get rid of. My solution, instead of a bull, tie a pair of kitchen knives to a bicycle. Let the games begin. All those family vloggers. Exploiting their children and putting them on the internet for all the creeps to see. This one isn't a tradition as it has sprung up in the last decade but I agree that it has to go. Tipping. Just pay the waiter slash waitress a real wage and stop leaving that up to the customer. This isn't a thing in most countries. Definitely not in Ireland. There are some places that do tips, but even still the staff are paid a proper wage. Smashing of the face on the birthday cake. For Americans, Black Friday shopping. It's stupid, dangerous, selfish, and ruins Thanksgiving. Go spend time with your families while they're alive. It's also really not practical. If you research and time it right you can find every single deal offered online at some point. Celebrity idolatry. Smashing someone's face into cake. Why? I saw a picture of a wooden stick poking out of someone's eye, the tiered cake someone smashed their face into had wooden stick for support in it. Hazing. As one that slept on the roof of the frat house in February during hell week, yeah, I could have lived without that. LOL. Gender reveal parties. Imagine if they yelled the private part instead of the gender. The first question every single person asks when they find out you're expecting is whether it's a boy or a girl. We never felt the need to have any such party for any of our kids, but man, Reddit is fucking weird about this one. I agree so much. I've had a family member do it to a young child who cried. What an asshole. I think it depends. Like. You don't need fireworks and crazy shit. But it can make for a good excuse to get the family together and just have a cake with a blue or pink inside at the end. Seems nice. 5 day working weeks. The worst is when people defend it and call people who don't like it lazy. I don't mind working, but selling all my limited time on this earth is horrible and a bad deal. Tipping. Pay people a living wage. The US political party system. Lobbying. Nah, just the two party system in general. Campaign donations from outside of the US. Just WTF mate, make it make sense. Presenteeism at work. Even now, I have colleagues coming in when they're sick. The same goes for those stupid perfect attendance awards at school, sure, it's possible that a kid hasn't been sick on any school day from kindergarten through the 12th grade, but it's not likely, and that means that a sick slash infectious child has had to go to school feeling like shit and passing it on to others. Forced marriages. Using the same first names down through generations of boys. Isn't carrying on the surname enough? I got mind fucked as a 14 year old when I found out my dad's name was his middle name. Always assumed it was his first name, but no. Animal exploitation. Bachelor and bachelorette parties that are there to celebrate your last day of freedom. And also they're weirdly sexual sometimes with the phallic shaped things or strippers. I'd be pissed if my husband was mourning what he could have had on the night before our wedding by ogling some half naked chick. It's weird to me because the bride and groom aren't really having a last night of freedom. That ended as soon as they started exclusively dating. The husband stitch. The what now? Sorry, I'm not googling that one. Underage brides. Those stupid ass gender reveal parties. A whole family of them. There's too many of these damn special day ceremonies. Sister day, son day, granddaughter day, international ketchup day, divorce Pekingese owners day comma, blah blah blah. On and on. It seems there's one of these inconsequential events for every day of the year. And for most, it's just someone trying to make money somehow. Keep a few of the main ones and ditch all the rest. They're annoying. I have an Indian friend and his parents basically just sent his wife here from India and said you're marrying her a couple years ago. I don't understand it at all but I think they do it like a business deal back at home. It's because some guy made a business out of declaring these national days. They aren't official government declarations. Link. Respecting parents slash elders no matter what. Some of them are just bad people. Owning crystal glasses and china plates that don't get used but once a year. I wouldn't buy new ones, but I inherited mine. They used to belong to my great great grandmother. 
I think they're pretty cool. I hope one of my kids will take them someday. That set is the only family heirloom we have so it doesn't feel excessive. Letting balloons go at funerals, it's horrible for the environment and the animals that ingest it. Plant a memorial tree instead. FGM and MGM. Female genital mutilation and male genital mutilation. Circumcision. I moved from Canada to Australia 20 years ago. When we had our firstborn, I asked the DR about circumcision, was curious and just wandering. He just sort of screwed his face up at me and was like why would you want to do that? Not a thing here in Australia, apparently. When my nephew was born, the hospital added circumcision to the bill. My sister called and argued, then eventually took her infant son to the hospital administration office to prove he was never circumcised, lol. Idiots. Daylight savings. Expensive wedding and funerals, especially with funerals, that person is already dead. The bedding ceremony. What is a bedding ceremony? Piercing baby's ears. Force slash arrange marriage. Till most Redditors again don't know what tradition is and just puts down anything they don't like. I'm just waiting a few hours to see how many times people write MLM or child beauty pageant. Groom pulling off the garter with his teeth, throwing the garter into the crowd of single men, throwing bouquets at crowd of single woman. Yuck. Elf on a shelf. My brother was telling his wife and me about his wishes after he is gone. He wants to be cremated, his ashes thrown in a coffee tin, and then scattered in the mountains. He also does not want a funeral or memorial service. He just wants his friends and family to get trashed the very night of his passing. Super extravagant and expensive weddings. I'll add in spending enough money to make a down payment on a car or home for an engagement ring as well. <laughs>